Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to solve proportions. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. The definition of proportions just says that a proportion is a statement of equality between two ratios. For example, if you look at our example problem here, we have 3 over 15 equals 9 over x. So this ratio, 3 over 15, is equal to the ratio of 9 over x. So this is a proportion because it's a statement of equality between two ratios, with one ratio being 3 over 15 and the other ratio being 9 over x. In this video, we're going to solve proportions by finding what's called the common multiplier. The common multiplier is the multiplier that you can use to go from one ratio to the other ratio. This multiplier will work for both the numerator, which is the top part of the fraction, and the denominator. The common multiplier will work for going from the first ratio to the second ratio, or from going from the second ratio back to the first ratio. It's going to work in either direction. We're going to complete this proportions example using the common multiplier method. So in order to find the common multiplier, we have to take either the numerator or the denominator in one of the ratios and divide it by the numerator or denominator in the other ratio. If your x is in your denominator, that means you have to use the numerators to find the common multiplier. We're going to take the largest number in the numerator, in this case which is 9, and we're going to divide it by the other numerator, which is 3 in this case. 9 divided by 3 is 3 which means our common multiplier is going to be 3. In order to go from the first ratio to the second ratio, we're going to multiply times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. In order to find x in the denominator, we're also going to multiply times 3. So if the common multiplier of 3 works in the numerator, it's also going to work in the denominator. We're going to take 15 and multiply 15 times 3. So we're going to do 15 times 3. 15 times 3 is 45, and that means that x here has to be equal to 45. So if the common multiplier of times 3 in the numerator works, that means it's also going to work in the denominator. So if you can use 3 times 3 in the numerator to get 9, you can also do 15 times 3 in the denominator to get x. And in this case, x is going to be equal to 45. That means that our solution to this proportion that means that our solution to x for this proportion is 45. Let's do a couple practice problems on our proportions worksheet. The first problem on our proportions worksheet gives us a statement of equality between two ratios. The first ratio is one third and it is equal to a ratio that is x divided by 12. Now we know we have to find the common multiplier to go from one ratio to the other. We can't use the numerator because x is in the numerator. So we have to use the denominator to determine the common multiplier. We're going to take the larger number in the denominator, which in this case is 12, and we're going to divide it by the smaller number in the other denominator, which is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4, so we know that our common multiplier is going to be 4 because 3 times 4 equals 12. In order to determine x, we're going to use the same common multiplier. This time we're going to say 1 times our common multiplier, which is 4, is going to be equal to x. So 1 times 4 is 4, which means that x has to be equal to 4. So I know that the solution to this proportion is x equals 4 because we can use the common multiplier to find it. The second problem we're going to do on our proportions worksheet is number 3. This problem gives us the ratio of 2 over x is equal to 10 over 25. Now x this time is in the denominator, which means that we're going to use our numerators to determine what our common multiplier is. I'm going to take 10 which is the larger number, and divide it by 2, which is the smaller number. 10 divided by 2 is 5, so I know that we can use 2 times 5 to get 10, so our common multiplier is 5. 
Now what's different about this proportion is we are missing an x in the first ratio. In order to find x we can't do x times 5 to get 25 because we don't know x. You have to do it in the opposite direction. So we're going to do 25 divided by 5 which is 5 to determine x. So if you're going to go from the first ratio to the second ratio you multiply times 5. But to go backwards, to go from the second ratio back to the first ratio, instead of doing times 5, you're going to divide by 5. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. So I know the solution to this proportion is going to be x equals 5 because we use our common multiplier to go from the second ratio back to the first ratio. The last problem we're going to complete on our proportions worksheet is number 7. This problem gives us the ratio of x over 9 is equal to the ratio of 27 over 81. Now we're missing x which is in the numerator. In order to find our common multiplier we have to use the denominator. That means we're going to take 81 which is the larger number and divide it by 9 which is the smaller number. 81 divided by 9 is 9. I know the common multiplier is going to be times 9. 9 times 9 is 81. In order to find x we can't do x times 9 to get 27 because we don't know x. So you have to go in the opposite direction. So we're going to do 27 divided by 9 which is our common multiplier. So divide by 9 and then 27 divided by 9 is 3. So now I know that x has to equal 3 because 3 times 9 equals 27 and we have to use 9 for the common multiplier. Hopefully this video was helpful for teaching you how to solve proportions in math. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.